Watch his face. Watch his face. See ya. I'm out of here. This <laughs> got me caught. The out of here, Borat. <laughs> You're watching the moments employees of a Riverside gun store say they caught actor Sasha Baron Cohen coming to their shop in disguise and under false pretense. That is fake. It all happened right here at Warrior One Guns and Ammo in February 2017, and it was all caught on the store surveillance video. The moment his words came out of his mouth, I was like, this guy's full of. That store owner, Nora Sweden. He's the one seen in the video dealing with Cohen and his camera crew after he was told they were there doing a documentary on a Hungarian immigrant wanting to buy a gun. He comes in off the bat. You can see the video. I'm looking. I'm like, this guy does not look like a Hungarian immigrant. Tight leather pants, a beard. Uh, it just didn't fit. But he says it's what Cohen said after that handshake that really blew his cover. I want to buy a gun, like that, talking like that. And I just kept looking at the guy, and I was like, you're Borat. Soon as I said that, his eyes just looked at me like, and he did a B-turn right out the door. Sweden Borat. says the video shows Cohen bailing on his crew after he gets called out, so then he turns to question the producer. We're talking to the people. They don't want to give us an answer. We basically told them, get the f out. You know, you guys are all full of have a great day. Get out. Sweden says it's obvious what Cohen's intentions were. Once I knew it was Borat, we already know his game and his So we knew that he's here to make a mockery and make a mockery of what? Gun owners, the gun business, gun shops. He says it's clear his store was meant to be part of a segment in Cohen's new program on Showtime called Who is America? He's ready to put the naughty man on a very long time out. And then you got some gun advocate holding a bunny on a gun. If you're a gun advocate, what the what are you doing holding a gun with a bunny on it? Really? Sweden believes his shop was targeted because it's well known and in the process of launching a pilot show called Down the Barrel. But he says Cohen and his crew picked the wrong guy to mess with. He was fake, the producers were fake, the show is fake, and Showtime is fake, to be honest with you. They want a real story? Come talk to us. We'll give you a real story. And Sweden tells me he is 100% positive that the man he dealt with here last year was, in fact, actor Sasha Baron Cohen. When I reached out to Showtime to get their response to all of his allegations, they would only tell me they have no comment. Reporting in Riverside, Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.